Hi, this is Troy with TabSite. Today we're going to take a look at the My Subpages button. Uh, you can click that button, it drops down with uh, several options. Uh, you have a light gate, new subpage, open view pages, subpage insights, and page properties. Uh, the first one there is light gate. Uh, that's a simple, easy way to get your light gate. You can click on that and it will show you your light gate. This is a light gate re we created for um, our tab to entice people to click a like or like our page prior to seeing the content behind that uh, within that tab. So um, this is an easy way to get the light gate. With the light gate, you can add any amount of widgets to the light gate to help entice people to, to like your page. And once they like their page, your page, um, they will see the content behind there. The next one is a new sub page. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, what this does is give you a blank canvas allowing you to create a new sub page. And uh, sub pages are something that is somewhat unique to tab site. Um, not a lot of other of our competitors have these. Allows you to create a main tab and then sub pages underneath there to get more content and more information out to your customers or, or people interested in looking at your page and finding out more information. Uh, the third one on the list is view open sub pages and it's pretty straightforward. I mean it, it uh, again, you can access your light gate from here. You can publish your light gate from here using the uh, uh, red green toggle. Uh, toggle to yes, the uh, light gate is published. Toggle, toggle to no, um, it, it will not show. Likewise, with any of the sub pages, if you toggle them to yes, they will show. If you toggle them to no, unpublished, uh, they will not show. Uh, you can move these around just by grabbing this tool and, and pulling it up and down. Uh, you can copy the URL each. A sub page has its own unique URL so you can link things directly to that sub page you can copy that URL clicking the copy URL button and uh, put that information into your fan page or website or wherever you want to put that uh, then there's uh, the navigation the navigation actually allows you to sh have this show up as a sub page or not sometimes you want to create a page that you don't necessarily want in the navigation if you can you can toggle that to no and then that page you can still copy it you still have the URL to it you still have information there but it just simply doesn't show in your um, sub menu uh, list uh, the next one over is uh, rename the sub page you can rename that at any time uh, you can delete the sub page at any time you can make it your default page right now we have big mics as our default page uh, there is keyword density allowing you to see what type of SEO keywords density you have within your your fan page or that in a given sub page then we also offer a mobile URL this is a great URL to give out uh, when you're if you know your audience uses mobile a lot right now tab site is one of the few people that do this as well and Facebook doesn't allow tab content on their mobile devices right now we think this is something they'll change in the near future but currently they don't offer that so as a workaround we've allowed a mobile URL so if you post this mobile URL to your wall and someone clicks on that URL it's going to take you to our microsite which will give you the information that they need it won't take you straight to the fan page but it takes you to the microsite which just really is a duplication of the fan page outside of Facebook so that's a little bit about the open view pages and information next on the list is page insights which is just kind of back in the same area this is just the statistics here that you can view it tells you how many times that sub page has been viewed uh, just a little bit of information to let you know how popular those are and how much activity they're getting page properties also gives you some insight on that uh, individual tab you can go through and you can change background images you could have uh, the height you can change the height there's other ways to do that at the bottom there's a drag pad you can do that as well you can have button styles so your sub page buttons can have rounded corners you can change the coloration of, of those uh, sub pages as well and then here's a little more of that keyword density this is where that is going to show the density of that page and and how what keywords are being utilized and what percentage they're being utilized within that page so that's my tutorial on my sub pages just giving you a little more insight as to uh, the tools and information under that menu thank you and for more information feel free to visit tabsite.com